I want to give you like my whole heart. I want to show you what I went through so that you don't have to go into your birth, into your labor with that anxiety, that insecurity and, and worry. Hello ladies and gents, welcome! I'm Chaveli and this is my channel. I'm so happy that you're here, I'm so excited that I'm finally doing it because I had this on my heart for a very long time and I asked God, he confirmed it a lot of times and I still made excuses why I couldn't do it, why I lack of skills. Whatever, anyways, I'm doing it now after two or nearly three years. Piece of information to myself, I am 27 years old, I'm half Swiss, half Dominican. I am married to the most wonderful person on earth. His name is Fabio, he's 27 years old also. And we have been married for a bit more than two years now. And um, together we have a baby girl. <laughs> Her name is Bobby May, and she turned four months yesterday. As I said, I am finally doing this. I am yeah, starting this whole thing. I, um, I don't know yet which way this will go and where it will lead, whatever. I'm just... Okay, to today's video. I really had it on my heart um, to talk about my birth to talk about labor because my birth was oh, my birth was such a beautiful experience I would say it is the most wonderful thing I have ever experienced and also I do not believe that there is something even crazier that I could ever experience in my whole life so I had this on my heart that I want to talk about labor because I feel like a lot of women, if not all the women, view labor as something very uh, negative, as something very... Uh, as something that you just have to go through, kind of, and have to be happy when it's over. Um, and it's really sad, I believe. It's really sad that this is something that people want to get over with because my labor was pretty fast I will talk later about it but I felt so um, sad that it was over that fast and it's really it's kind of funny that everyone wants to be over with labor so fast so I had this on my heart because I want to encourage women and men I want to encourage women and their husbands that labor doesn't have to be painful in fact, I believe with my whole heart it can be pain-free. You can give birth pain-free and you can love your birth. You can be transformed in labor and be transformed in your character. It is possible. I do know now. And I know because my labor was mostly pain-free. I would say like 90% of labor was, I don't want to say, I don't want to say easy, but it was pain-free. Like it wasn't something that I just had to go through or that happened to me and I had no control over it. And that's why oh, I want to give you like my whole heart. I want to show you what I went through so that you don't have to go into your birth, into your labor with that anxiety, that insecurity and, and worry. And because of that, I will first today talk about how I prepared for my birth, but I will not talk about the physical part because I think the physical part is the most obvious, like you do your stretches, you you eat your dates and you stay hydrated and whatever. <laughs> By the way, yeah. 
and um, I will only talk about the mental and the spiritual aspect because I think these are the two areas that you don't really I think most of the women don't really think about it or maybe just do some breathing exercises I don't know if this is also just um, physical but like I don't know I just feel like it's not talked about enough so I want to do that today okay let's get this thing started um, how did I prepare at first I sorry I have to look at my notes because um, so what I did as a preparation um, I have to give mostly all the credits to pain-free birth this is a course that you can buy pain-free birth Germany is from Joanna and I think pain-free birth um, in America is from Karen I think is her name I know them or I discovered them on Instagram and I bought the course and it was worth every freaking cent because like this whole her whole idea is to change your mindset about birth and also your knowledge so that you can take responsibility you can take responsibility over your own birth because that is something that is so freaking important that you can be your own advocate of your birth that you know what is happening that you know what could happen or what the process is of birth so I love her idea really also you receive a workbook that was mine or is mine I don't know if I will receive another one when when I have a second child see the okay um, in this workbook you have like different modules I know you can't see it I just show it like real quick you have modules where she talks about the physical part she talks first also about pregnancy she also talks about giving birth in the hospital a lot of different parts and it's like you have the physical mental and spiritual part that you have to work through and in this workbook you always receive you always have like exercises where you have to ask yourself stuff where you have to go to the roots of your of your picture of birth for example or your picture of pregnancy or whatever also she has input and stuff where you have to reflect on things I think I already said that also prayers um, which you can use for yourself and space to make notes and really she's also describing like the whole um, the whole labor from the stages on and also talks about your body really I don't want to talk too much about it because you really you need to get that because birth is such a transforming thing and either you get transformed in a positive or in a negative way and really don't go with the flow by this course because as I said it will be I'm just repeating myself it will be worth every cent so I did not only buy the course I also followed um, Joanna and Karen on Instagram on pain free birth and pain free birth Germany and I read those stories because they always post birth stories from from other women which are positive of course and this was also very very life-changing because I I started with the course and I knew okay it is possible to give birth pain-free but I thought for myself okay maybe the number is very low of women who can give birth pain-free or you have to be lucky or you have to belong to the small part of the group who can just enjoy their birth and because of that I had to read those stories because then you see it's not only I know we have to walk by faith and not by sight but for birth it's really helpful that you really see that other women can experience birth pain painless like pain-free and it's not it's not like a check where you know okay this I don't know Sarah or Amanda or whoever was able to give birth pain-free like you have the stories you have the story behind you have the experiences on those posts and you can really like soak it in and believe it and you can really you can really strengthen your faith that it is possible 
So I also al always read those stories, um, which encouraged me very, very, very much. And it was really funny because when I started to follow them on Instagram, I was kind of surprised because I was like, how, like, how are they not in agony? How are they not dying from pushing this baby out? Because sometimes they were just like there, relaxed and breathing the baby out. And I was like, no, this is not for me because I didn't say that yet. But when I found out that I was pregnant, when I saw those two lines, one of my first thoughts was, okay, I have to push out a freaking baby. And I was not having it. Like, I was anxious, y'all. I was, I was sure no one on this whole planet had to discuss with me if I would use medication or, or not. I knew that I will give birth with an epidural because I was not having it. I didn't want to be like just lucky or so to not have pain or whatever. And because of that, I was pretty surprised when I saw those women who were just giving birth very, not easily, I don't want to say easy, but obviously without any pain. And then reading the stories that they didn't have any pain. And I was like, okay, can this be like also for me? Can this, can I also go through labor without any pain? Is that impossible? And yes, it is. It is possible, really, believe me, it is possible. A third thing that I did, which was also a game changer, I really believe with my whole heart, was that I I talked to, I think it was at least two women about their births, obviously their pain-free births. They had very positive experiences and this was also very, very helpful because I could like talk to them obviously like one to one and they ensured me, hey, it can be really very, very beautiful. It can be extremely heavenly transforming and you don't have to be afraid and you can put your trust in God that he gave you everything that you can give birth. You have the hormones, you have all those procedures in your body that are preparing and that are making this birth even possible. And like in those talks, I was so encouraged and I was looking so forward. I mean, at the beginning, I was kind of nervous because you never know. But when I talked to them, I really start like my mind started to shift because I really thought, okay, I want to experience this too. What they talked about, what they experienced, it was so crazy and so wonderful. And I wanted to have those feelings. I wanted to experience it and I wanted to know that it is possible that I can experience the same thing. Okay, Bobby is now awake. Anyways, if you don't have someone that is the person that had a positive birth experience, I want to be the person for you. If you are fearful, if you are anxious, if you're kind of depressed when it comes to labor, don't be shy to DM me. I want to pray for you. I want to talk to you. I want to tell you about my story and encourage you in that way. Because I don't know a lot of women who say, who had like those experiences. And I think we have to be grateful for the ones who had because because I think mostly it has to do with your mindset and it can be changed when you talk with other women and when you read those stories and when you pray about it. Because this is also something I did. This is because this is like the next point I did I prayed a lot and it was a game changer. I prayed a lot because I had my, Bobby's coughing, because I had my small group praying for me in the background. I had a kind of prayer meetings where I prayed with friends, they prayed over me or I had prayers on the phone, whatever. I also had a group with volunteers who were praying through the whole labor like they were praying when it started until the end and this was so crucial i really believe that it was crucial so i had those people just praying for me all the time and till this day i'm so if you're watching this and you know you're one of those i will never stop being grateful for that because i felt it so badly it's so crazy and it changes 
it really changes, prayer changes. So summary, I did the pain-free birth course. I read the stories. I read the stories <laughs> on Instagram. I talked to people one-to-one -one about birth, about positive birth experiences, of course. And I covered myself in prayers. Okay, so she's definitely awake. She's done with her nap. <gasps> Look at her. That is Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Wanna say something? How was your nap? Was it nice? She's the cutest, oh my goodness. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Mwah. I love you. <gasps> She's just the cutest. I love her so much. I will try lay her in lay her in her play gym. Let's see if she's in or not. Her smiles are just the cutest. It fills me with so much joy. I don't know. So I think this is all that needed to be said concerning preparation. As a summary, a good preparation is key. Please do not go with the flow. It's a bad idea. I would never recommend that. Really, you also train for a marathon. You don't just go there like, I'm gonna run some miles today, whatever. Hey, thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I will be talking about my birth. I will tell you my story. Stay tuned because it's really worth it. And I see you in the next one. Bye.